Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave and today we're talking about Stag Industrial, S-T-A-G, ticker symbol. Now this is a read and I like it. So I went out and bought some shares and I uh, sold the covered call as well. And I was actually pretty impressed by the premium that can be generated by selling a covered call against this. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Now you can give me your opinion. You can tell me down in the comments, uh, thumbs down, bad idea, not in this market, or you can say thumbs up, I like it. Either way, let me know what you think. So. Anyway, let's learn about Stag Industrial on this covered call. See what kind of premium we can generate selling a covered call on this REIT. That is what you're looking for. Please stick around. Whoop. So real quick, for those that aren't familiar, REITs are real estate investment trusts. So if you want to get into the real estate business, but you don't actually go buy the physical real estate, REITs might be right for you. And Stag Industrial goes out and buys a bunch of industrial buildings. They collect all the rent checks, they pay their bills and what's left over, they have to pay out to shareholders, or at least a large portion of it goes out to shareholders. So I think, and even uh, the economy that we have right now where we might be contracting a little bit over the next couple of years, Stag Industrial is in a pretty good position where I feel like my money's gonna be pretty safe going forward. And uh, they pay out a nice distribution as well. So let's check out Stag Industrial. This is going to be a real quick look at Stag. So I do encourage you to do your own research on any individual stock or REIT that rolls off the tongue of someone like me on YouTube, right? You want to understand this for yourself. But uh, what I really want to try to get across today is that I think Stag for myself is currently offering good value. And I like the option play, which is what we're going to focus on here in a minute. But if we look at their website real quick, we're going to see STAG has an enterprise value of over 8 billion and they have over 111 million square feet of these industrial buildings. Okay, again, they're renting out these industrial buildings, storage and manufacturing businesses rent these out. They're all across the country in 40 different states. And uh, we can see that over here if we look under their properties. And uh, I also like that they're not saturated in any one particular market. So like they've got stuff in California, but I'm not a huge fan of having too much in California, right? They've got a lot of problems out there in my opinion. But uh, my home state of Ohio also has some nice representation here. Uh, 34 different buildings and they're all different, you know, in the different major cities in Ohio. And they range everywhere from about 75,000 square feet up to some that are over 1 million square feet. And most of them are distribution warehouses, but they also have a few like manufacturing centers. So well diversified all across the country. Now let's jump over to Seeking Alpha and I am an affiliate. There are affiliate links down below if you find this kind of information helpful. Take a look at those. Stag is currently at $31.90. Performance has been pretty poor over the last year. It's lost a lot of its value. But if I look at the fundamentals here, mainly PFFO, which is kind of like the PE ratio for REITs because it takes into account depreciation, it's sitting at 14.58, and that's a pretty solid number right now. It's got a yield going forward of 4.58, so we'll take a look at that as well. Uh, financials. Uh, look pretty solid. Rental revenue, I mean, just hitting the top line here, top and bottom here. So we've gone from 74 million back in 2012 up to 559 million in 2021. If we scroll to the bottom, we're going to see that net income has really grown as well. Now we're up to about 59 million. So pretty good. Looking pretty solid there. Dividends wise, uh, it is a monthly paying one, which I know a lot of people like. Again, there's that forward dividend yield of 4.58. There hasn't been a lot of dividend growth. So we can look at dividend history and uh, come in here and we can kind of see it's been 12, 12, 12 cents for a long period of time. So solid, but not a lot of growth. Now uh, we can look at charting as well. And again, it's been unimpressive this last year in relation to the S&P 500. So if we just look over the last year, we can see Stag is down 24% compared to the S&P, which is down 9.5%. If we go out to like a three-year period, well, then they start to mirror each other a little bit more. The S&P is still way outperforming stag comparatively. But if we do adjust for total return, it's going to improve slightly, right? Because then we're looking at 25% for stag, 43% return for the S&P 500. So how do we utilize this information when we start talking about doing a covered call with something like Stag Industrial. So at this point, I think Stag Industrial is actually offering some pretty good value. I like the yield, I like the numbers. So I'm willing to go out and buy some shares. And again, I'm just setting up this trade as a covered call, and I'm gonna sell this out a little bit longer than usual. You know, this is, this is something that I typically go out three, four, five, six months, if I can, 
and I position myself hopefully to have a nice return over that period of time. So let's take a look at this trade and I'll set it all up. Please understand I bought 300 shares at $30.50 to get everything started. So to explain this trade, I'm using my good old covered call calculator. If you've been watching this channel, you've probably seen this before. It is free to download. I'll link it down below, but it's got a cash secured put calculator over here and a covered call calculator over here. So in this case, since I bought the shares and I sold the call, we're gonna use this side over here. So what do we got going here? Well, on 9.6, I bought those 300 shares, that three contracts, right? And then I turned around and I sold those three contracts of STAG with a 12.16.22 expiration, which is 101 days from the day I bought it. All right, so I'm gonna hold it for a little while in this case. And when I bought it, I paid $30.50 for those. And I turned around and I sold to open a call with a strike price of $30, okay? So we would call that an in the money call. And I did that to offer myself a little bit more security to the downside. So we'll kind of talk through this as we go. So it actually has to drop in order for me to keep it, which I know sounds a little bit funny, but that increased my premium and it also gives me some security that I can actually afford, because I received the premium already, for that stock to continue to drop a little bit. So. I'm offering that anybody, I've got the obligation to sell my shares at this strike price of $30 if they ever want to. Now, if they decide to do that right now, am I worried about that? No, not at all, because for this, I got a $552.94 premium, right? So when I sell this call, I collect a premium. In this case, it was $552. That's a pretty nice premium. It's a lot more than the difference between $30.50 and 30 times 300. That would be $150. So I'm in the hole $150, but I made 552. So I'm up 400 on the trade if they decide to take these shares at any time. Got it? All right, so for this, I've got $9,150 essentially locked up in those 300 shares that I've got. And uh, down here is a way to kind of evaluate this trade. So think through this as three things can happen over the next 101 days, right? They could call it early if uh, for some reason that they want to do that. For like, for example, if the dividend exceeds the extrinsic value of the option, don't worry about that. It probably won't really occur, but it could if the stock takes off towards the end of this trade, okay? But I down here, uh, I got the dividend rate of 12 cents. The next one's on 9.29. Um, and it's every single month. So I should receive, if it goes all the way till expiration, three of those dividends. Um, and times the, all those 300 shares, I should collect about $108 total off of those three dividends. So if I collect all that, well, what, what all is gonna happen? Well, if it gets called away from me because the stock goes above the strike price and it gets called away, that's this first line here, then I'm going to lose that $150 that we talked about, right? Because there's the fact that I'm offering to sell it for 30, but it, um, I bought it for $30.50. So I lose 150 bucks there, but I should collect $108 in dividends. And if I don't, don't worry about it because I also have the premium that's covering me. So if we do the math here and we total this all up, we would have uh, $510.94. If this goes all the way to expiration, then finally gets called away, and I would still make 20% if I annualized my total gain on my call cost, okay? So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that trade. If if the stag takes off and it gets called away and I make 20%, I'm happy. Now, the next thing that could happen is the stock price at expiration uh, drops to some price, and I use that to say you can plug whatever you want in here. So I put in, uh, let's say it drops all the way to 29. In that case... I'll lose $450 altogether on the trade because uh, I bought it for $30.50 and now it's only worth $29. So $1.50 difference there times 300 shares gives me about $450 that I've on paper have lost, right? But I collected $108 in dividends and I got that premium as well. So even if that happens down the road, 101 days from now, I would still have 8.33% more if I annualize the money that I made, which is $210.94. And the last calculation here is my break even calculation. So break even for this is $28.30, okay? So at this point, if it went down to $28.30, I would lose $660.94 on the difference between $28.30 and $30.50 times 300 shares. But I collected dividends and premium that give me a exact break even. So that's my break even calculation when you account for the premium I collected 
and the dividend that I collected. So that's my analysis for something like this stag industrial trade. Now I would be happy because I think it offers pretty good value just to buy and own the shares, buy and own some shares of stag industrial. And, and maybe that's the approach. Maybe you buy 330 shares and you sell a covered call on some of them. You don't have to do it against the whole position if you like the stock, but I'm a little bit bearish as we sit right now. So when I look at a option trade like this in my options account, I kind of like it. I like the fact that if the stock takes off, I'm still happy because I made 20%. If the stock trades sideways, I'm okay because I'm still going to do pretty well, somewhere between this 20 and this 8. But, you know, if it doesn't perform well, if the economy continues to uh, pull back and stag industrial continues to drop, I've got some protection down to $28.30 because of that large premium that I collected. So all of that together makes this feel pretty darn good to me. Also, as I look at the current price on Monday, the 12th, of September right now after market close. The stock is already up to $32.53. Uh, so we have enjoyed a nice rally over the last few days that has elevated the price. So if you look at it, it's going to look a little different. But uh, we'll also see uh, what the influence is this week as we get updated CPI data. So what do you think? Overall, I think I've got this trade kind of cornered pretty well, right? I think all three scenarios play out pretty well for me. If the stock goes up, I'm going to lose it, but I'm still going to make 20%. Right? If the stock trades sideways, again, I make 20%, but I'm also going to hopefully retain those shares if it stays right around that $30.50 mark, right? or it goes down about 30 where my strike price is, I'll be able to roll this out again and I'll continue to do it. So uh, that looks pretty good. And then with the break even all the way down at about $28.30, I think that was the number, I feel pretty good about uh, that as well. So if it does pull back to 27 or 26, I still feel pretty good. I'll be able to roll this out again and probably make up for that difference between $28.30 and maybe 20 or 6 or $27 going forward when you factor in the dividends and everything else. So feel pretty good about this trade. Pick it apart. Let me know what you think. So that's my trade with Stag Industrial. I like this REIT. I think it's going to uh, pay off for me in the long run. Now, I don't get too heavy in any, one, any individual trade like this, but uh, averaging it over a period of time into something like this has worked out pretty well for me in the past. Now, if you have any questions on any of this, please ask down below. I really appreciate you watching. And if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a great night. Take care. Whoop.